Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Police, friends. How y'all doing today? Well, y'all, today's video is going to be about a knife I picked up at Walmart. It's a knife that I've seen online there, and um, also seen a lot of YouTube videos about it already. It seemed like a real good knife. And I just want to show y'all what I picked up at Walmart, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right, y'all, this is a uh, knife that I've seen, like I said, online, and um, I've, I've done seen several different videos about this knife. And a lot of good things they're saying about this knife so far. So I just thought I'd bring y'all along, show you what it is, and do a few uh, cuts with it. And also give you some uh, measurements on the knife and everything. But first of all, it's the Ozark Trail 7.5 inch fold knife. The blade is made out of uh, D2 high carbon steel, which is very good steel. And it's showing it's got an injected molded handle, which can be a plastic handle. And does have a uh, pocket clip on it. And um, I normally don't buy uh, knives with pocket clips. I've bought a few uh, through the years. But uh, I thought I'd give this knife here a try. And uh, this knife right here costs you $10 basically at Walmart right now. And uh, I'd recommend y'all go and buy, check one and pick one of them up and check it out for yourself there. See, you know, how you like it there. But we're going to give this knife here a try today. And uh, just first, it's got. You can flip it open. It's got these uh, two uh, pegs right here on each side right here to flip your knife open. And to just to retract it, you got this slide right here. Now, this is uh, this is uh, new to me, but basically, you know, the gentleman at Walmart, he's like, oh, you can just kind of flip it open right there, you know. And uh, I said, okay. So, uh, there you go, flip it open, it flops back, cut your hand off, you're not careful. <laughs> I'm the worst one trying to show you all this stuff. But it's all about your timing with releasing this right here. But y'all can see it's just uh just real loose right there. And um the way it works, when you open it up right back here, it's like a lock back, it just kinda locks in place. And then you pull this back here. To release it then it locks back like that and i say you can uh you can flip it open with your thumb or maybe you can flip it with your index finger and or you can pull back on this here i'm not too good at that y'all y'all can tell everybody's laughing at me right now <laughs> it's all about timing you gotta release got to release this otherwise it's going to come back on you but anyway i don't i don't i don't use knives as a gadget think i'm cool or anything so i'm not i'm not into all this kind of stuff but this reminds me of that fidgety um i don't know if you call them fidgets or little bearing deals what they call fidget fidget spinners it's fidget spinners these knives remind me of a, like a fidget spinner you know if you're nervous and you know you, you or you like impressing your buddy just Flip your knife out, I guess, you know. I guess you're cool and everything if you can do that. I'm not too cool, Tasha. <laughs> I might get there one of these days, but right now I'm not too cool. I'm just learning. But anyway, y'all, back to the knife. <laughs> uh, there's the uh, blade right there. And it's got some kind of, I don't know if it's stone washed or got some kind of black, uh, it's, it's black coating on it. Uh, I'm sure to keep it from rust and everything. And um, it is a China made knife. And uh, I don't have the, I don't know if it tells you the weight here on it. Um, no, I don't see a weight on this knife, but I'll give you some measurements real quick. The more important stuff, me playing around with, it's not really giving y'all no information there, but the overall length of the knife, y'all, is going to be seven and one half inches. The blade itself is going to be a three inch blade on it. Oh, I'm sorry. Three and quarter inch blade. It's gonna be a three and quarter inch blade and a seven and a half overall length and the handle itself is going to be four and three sixteenths on the handle. Four and three sixteenths on the handle. So uh so I know a lot of them shows um uh, the knife talking about the knife, you know, and some of them already doing some um uh, uh testing on the metal and everything. They have to supposedly determine it is you no know, D2 steel, 
and uh, also uh, i seen one video said that there's no kind of lead or anything in this coating they put on it so uh, that's always a good thing and uh, let's show you all this right here the blade itself is centered in in here some of the knives some of them's got and the blade has been off center my knife right here is actually center so i'm happy with that but anyway y'all it's a light filling knife it's got really stiff um spring right here so if you put it in your pocket um it would uh definitely stay in that pocket and wouldn't come out so let's go and do some cutting y'all and what i got here got some of this uh what do y'all call this yarn or burlap twine burlap twine so let's uh let's do some cutting on this here's uh let me see one, two. i don't know about that's about four thick right there no problem it's gonna be about eight strands right here let's go ahead and cut that see how that does and uh no problem at all. So we'll assume this is 16 strands here. And you know, use a knife, you never know what you're going to be using it for, y'all. So that's why I'm doing this demonstration right here to show you the ability of this knife. It's 16 strands right here. No problem at all on this uh, burlap string. So we can tell right there that's sharp. And uh, here we got some cardboard. Who don't use a knife? open cardboard you know cutting cardboard and things got a box or something take another piece Kind of going in to it, then cutting out. You can see right there, it's, it's cutting really good. We'll have a mess clean up. Then let's go ahead and this some eight, nine ounce leather right here. And let's go ahead and see how it works on this leather right here, cutting into you know, leather, you know, pretty tough. Had no problem cutting this leather, y'all. So, you know, D2 steel is supposed to have good retention. Very, you know, strong. Uh, got good hardness to it. And a lot of good knives are made out of D2 steel. And uh, I don't know if I got a scrap piece of paper. Let me check right here real quick. Here's some paper right here. Everybody likes seeing paper get cut. This is a several pieces of paper. Let me get back down to one piece of paper here. Flimsy. Can you see it, Tasha? Mm -hmm. Cut that paper like nothing. So y'all, y'all can see this knife is sharp. And like I say, I've done I've done nothing to this knife. The only thing I've done with this knife in this video is make a mess over here. But the whole point of all that is to give y'all a demonstration what this knife can do right out of the package. It is a uh, Ozark Trail. And uh, for $10, you can pick this up at Walmart. And I tell you what, uh, I, I never buy these type knives, but once I seen everybody making a video about how good it was and everything, I said, I'm going to give it a yeah. try. For $10 knife, you should throw it in your tackle box. 
if you just throw that in your pocket every day, a good work knife. Um, I, don't, I don't believe you can go wrong with this knife, y'all. It's not the prettiest color, but that's the only color they got it in, at least for right now. I would love for this knife being in like a um, olive green or some kind of dark green color. That'd be real nice. But this color here makes it easy. You know, if you do use it, say in your tackle box or um, whatever, throw in your pickup, you can see this knife real easy. It's real easy to uh, pick up the color of it. So it's got a nice little, kind of like a drop point blade on it. Uh, but it comes up, you know, got a nice little, you know, pointer though. But uh, I think it's a nice knife myself for for the money. And uh, if you're all about saving some money and getting something good, you know, that's what I'm about, trying to find something good. And uh, like I say, it's, it's a pretty good little knife as far as I've seen so far, you know. Uh, uh, long term, I tell how it works out, but you know, I'm not real crazy rough on my knife, so I'm sure this knife will last a long time. But uh, y'all go check it out, you know. If, but this knife interests you, you know. Uh, this was the last one at my Walmart. Uh, this is actually the display model, so when they get them, they go fast, y'all. So if y'all interested in a, a new pocket knife that you can get for 10 bucks, you know, I'd recommend this knife right here. And uh, if you don't like the uh, clip on it, it's got two screws right here. You can uh, take take that clip off. And uh, I might see about maybe just experimenting, maybe with a leather sheath or something, you know, for this knife. I'm just kind of curious, you know, that's what I do, you know, making leather sheaths. I'm going to experiment with different things. So. Anyway, y'all, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, hope you uh, maybe found this video a little informative, a little funny maybe. Y'all can tell that I'm not an expert when it comes to open these new knives up. <laughs> I'm used to traditional pocket knives. But uh, my new knife, I'm not worried about showing how I can open one up real quick. And no fault of the knife itself, y'all, just the user. This knife will do what it needs to do if you know what you're doing. Apparently, apparently that's stylish, Tosh. That guy had to show me that yesterday. Said, Sir, let me show you something right here. I seen how you was open <laughs> to put on to put camera on. That guy at Walmart, I was looking at a knife, y'all. I, I had this knife. I was sitting there to take my thumb, open the knife up like it right there, and I was looking at it. And here's a younger guy. And, you know, a lot of men in their 70s probably flip their knife open like this. I don't know. But the guy, he said, sir, let me show you right here what you can do right here. I seen how you open that knife up. Let me show you how you open that knife up. And he took that knife and he flung it open. And I, oh, yeah. And I'm sitting there thinking, yeah, I, I've seen that done before. But, I, I, you know, I, I didn't want I didn't want to sling it and, and accidentally could you? <laughs> That'd be my luck, Tosh. Be, take the knife and sling it and then actually slip out of my hand or something like that. Then I'd feel really bad. But uh, I hope y'all find some humor in that right there. My son, he had this knife, uh, I can't remember, this morning or yesterday evening. And he was he behind me there. I said, here, go ahead and open it up and stuff. And I jumped because I thought he, he took that knife and kind of do it like I did. <laughs> I said, boy, don't you cut my ear off. <laughs> but uh, anyway, y'all, hope y'all enjoyed the video. And uh, if you do buy this knife and uh, you never use a knife to open like this style right here <laughs> don't be like me y'all don't do as i do because i don't know what i'm doing just uh just uh, just use your uh, common sense y'all i don't want to be come back and say i cut my finger off or <laughs> i did so i'm trying to do what you did i know a lot of people gonna leave a comment and say son you don't know how to open a knife up like i said i'm old school i like them them simple knives but anyway, y'all appreciate y'all watching the video. And as always, friends, my family, yours, y'all have a blessed day. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye. And good knife hunting, y'all. <laughs>